Do you want a gaming keyboard but don't have the money to splash on a mechanical keyboard? Well, Irox thinks they have the solution for you. This is the K10 Mechanical Hybrid Keyboard. Well, that's what they say it is. <laughs> Okay, so it has some mumbo jumbo that nobody actually would really care about, like a 1000 hertz, hertz polling rate, uh, a, a Windows lock key is actually kind of, kind of useful sometimes, uh, N key rollover, I don't really know how to explain that, but Linus did a very good video on Tech Quickie about that, if you want to look for that, I'll link it in the description. It's got uh, some stuff which makes it its mechanical hybrid, uh, so it's got a POM, uh, what on earth is that? Guide sleeve, sorry. A 3.8 millimeter keystroke, uh, PBT keycaps, I know what that is, and a 30 key stimulus trigger. Again, no clue what that is, not many people will care, but obviously somebody cared enough to write it on the box. Okay, so what makes this such a mechanical kind of crossbreed thing is uh, obviously we've got here the normal keys of another keyboard, which will have a keycap. Uh, housing unit, rubber, and then the membrane switch, and then obviously the case of the keyboard. But then what makes this such a kind of crossover is it first has your keycap, then your plunger, a housing unit, uh, and then special rubber, which obviously gives it a bit more force and pressure to it when you're pressing it down, and then you've got your membrane switch, then the support, uh, support plate, and then finally, some reinforced case. Right, so now the typing experience with the IROX is actually quite pleasurable for a um, membrane keyboard. Like some people who just are devout to mechanical keyboards will be like, no, I'm not gonna type on a membrane anymore. I'm gonna spend lots of money on a mechanical. So it's like a membrane keyboard, but it's got the tactile feedback of mechanical, and for its cheap price, it just feels definitely worth it. Like, so just, it's got a decent travel distance. It's not like got a tiny little thing like most memory keyboards do have. And uh, the only problem that I have had with it is the space bar. If you can get any footage of that, has uh, gently began to slow because I've been using pressing that side too much. And the keycap is right in the middle there. So it's kind of like got a bit of a spongy feel there. And it's just more clicky. So that's the only disappointment with the, with the keyboard overall, but it's got a full number pad, which some people like. I don't really use a number pad, I don't really get the point of a number pad, but some people just like them there. It's got uh, full-sized backspace, uh, enter, and a shift on that side, which is obviously, some people really like that. Some people really like to have those full kind of things. It's annoying when you don't have a tiny little backspace and you keep constantly pressing plus, or insert, or delete, or print screen when you don't want to. But yeah, overall, very good keyboards, well worth the buy if you don't have the money for mechanical and you can just have this and later on when you feel like you have the money to do it, switch over to mechanical because mechanical is brilliant. Thank you very much for watching our light review of the IROX K10 gaming keyboard. Uh, like, friends, subscribe if you enjoyed, share with your friends. I'll leave a link to like the pricing of this keyboard. It's very cheap, very nice, and you should definitely get it. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.